What do you want to ask me, Dean, anyway? Um, Hello. Oh, hang on. There we are. That one there. Sorry. No probs. Uh, I'll, tell you what, I'll do some music. Yes, please. Oh, there it is. There's a little. We're waiting for the first question. Waiting for the number <laughs> question number one. <laughs> Go on, then. This one here. Um, to give our listeners the flavour of our. Of your poetry. Of your poetry. Poetry, would you be able to read us one? Uh, should I sing you one or will you speak you one? What do you want? Speaking or singing? Singing. He liked, he liked, he was watching you last night. Singing. The singing one would be like. I'll do a little bit of I Need You, shall I? Yeah. I need you. Like a Sunday needs a roast, I need you. Like an ocean needs a coast, I need you. Like a doggy needs a lamp post <laughs> to be a damp post. I need you like a copper needs a crook, I need you like a cranny needs a nook, I need you like a looker like needs somebody to look like. I need you like a novel needs a plot I need you like a greedy need a lot I need you like a hovel needs a certain level of grottiness to qualify I need you like sandpaper needs wood to nuzzle I need you like a dot to dot puzzle need more than one dot unless it's not to be taken very seriously I need you like a cappuccino needs broth I need you like a candle needs a moth If it's gonna burn its wings off I, uh, Yes, well done <laughs> Thank you I watched that one last night That was good Yeah Yeah, yeah you Probably a slightly you. different version I think you were younger you look, you yes, I'm sure I was. Well, it would be pretty hard for me to be older, wouldn't it? <laughs> Definitely, yeah. <laughs> you have mentioned Luton and Hats in your writing. What, yeah. what is your connection to Luton and how do you feel about it now? I was brought up in Luton. I was born in London, in North London, where I live now. Um, and I moved to Luton when I was about 18 months old and um, well I'd not just on my own obviously I went with my mum and dad and my brother and my sister and so a lot of first things happened to me in Luton my first speaking um, my first hearing of poems um, my first singing and so I, and on my first football team, which is my football team, still Luton Town. And so I, I've, I'm grateful to Luton for a lot of things. And it's also part of my, part of my history. And so I like to sing about the things that I have. I like to remember things in my past and things that have made me in my songs. There's a little bit about, there's a little song about, um, so this is mum and dad when we moved from London to Luton and uh, uh, mum and dad are having a little chat in this and Luton is famous for its hat making. It used to make more hats than it does now. And so they're talking about that. I'll just do a little bit of it again. So mum and dad are chatting, 1955. They used to fashion hats here years ago. They did, you know, they fashioned hats of very high renown. However many hats here do you know? 
every day a sea of hats came flooding from the town so as it dried up totally not totally but certainly the modern day production is significantly down so now how many hats here i don't know a puddle not an ocean but they're still of high renown the famous hats of loot and the famous hats once the height of fashion was a hat from Luton Town The famous hats of Luton, and the famous hats A Luton hat was top up from the bottom to the crown That's good. Did you like that? You liked it, didn't you, Bet? <laughs> Is it Be Bessie or Betty? Betty. Betty. Betty, yeah, she gets called Bet. Or Betty Boo. Bet Thank you very much, Dee. And thank you, Alison. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And you. Thank you, Giles. Thanks a lot, John. Uh, bye. 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 Bye, everyone.